Hello guys, how are you today? We will be discussing about what's the Java abstract. So, if you think about abstract, okay, uh, well, of course, this is a, a, a bit uh, a rare type of knowledge when it comes to classroom instruction. So, abstract means this is a non access modifier used for classes and methods. So, we can apply that. And we are know that, of course, if you're talking about classes, we're talking about field members. And we're talking about objects. Okay, so how to start with a program with using the abstract, um, abstract what you call this well, statement. So we're gonna start with create abstract, and at the same time we can apply uh, the, the 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 basic of object oriented programming in the code. For example, how to start with abstract program? Start with abstract. Sorry about that. In class, this is very important. For example, we have here abstract class data one. So this is a program. If you want to declare the abstract, just like you're creating your methods, the methods will be declared here, right here, and at the same time to be called in the main program. And of course, another class will inherit it. So it will be uh, you. It will be uh, applied using the the word what extends. So we're creating our own local based uh, code here, just to you know to inherit the program at the top. Okay, so this is the program at the top right now. So we're gonna create, like for example, public class public. Okay, public abstract. And then we have the void. Let's say the program here is power one. Let's say we have the power one right here. So this is a default type of uh, methods. We don't have any parameters here yet, okay? And then we can say system, I'm sorry. So this is power one, but of course, I'm sorry. <laughs> so this is how you declare your methods at the top of, uh, at the top of the abstract program. In reverse, we can use also the, inter uh, the interface. The interface will be discussed to the next uh, topic, okay? Now, what will happen? Public abstract void power. So we can also create our own what? Our own uh, our own methods right here. Public, let's say void, and then let's say uh, gen, gen power one. Let's say that's the code. So this one is part of the abstract class. This is where we create the methods. And this one will be uh, uh, the declaration of a public abstract class wherein we can put this somewhere in the code, okay, in another class. Let's say we have here for int x equals to zero. Okay, let us generate the code right here. X is to the five. The purpose of this is we need, we need to generate the power from one to five. Okay, x plus plus. Part of uh, this is part of your gen power one method. Okay, then system that absorbs at out that print uh, line. Okay, so we have here the x. All right. Now we have here, of course. The declaration of abstract methods, and we have, of course, um, a, a, a method inside the data one, abstract data one. Now, don't be confused about this uh, open and close parentheses. We have three because, for one thing, well, because we have the one open braces, two open braces, and three open braces. So we're gonna end here with the loop. Okay. So next procedure is, of course, how to declare this gen power. So that's how we uh, apply the abstract class. And of course, uh, extending this power to another class. So we're gonna create class, let's say, I will put my name Arnold, and then extends. I think you are familiar about the extends now. We use extends uh, often to uh, invoke uh, the built-in class of the Java program. So class Arnold extends, and then we extends that to data one. Therefore, Arnold now has the capacity to, uh, to create the methods for power one, and of course, Arnold is the co-owner of Gen Power One. Okay, so we're gonna extend that. Okay, what will happen right here? So we have the declaration at top of the public void uh, of, of, of the public abstract void rather. So we're gonna use what public void and then we declare the power of one. Okay, so what will happen here? Okay, let us print something. System dot out dot print line. Power is generated. Okay. So we have already what you call this completed the power one as part of the uh, of the abstract declaration at the top. Okay, this is power one. And uh, the question is, can can I write another method here? Yes, of course you can write it here, down here. But let us finish this thing. So for now we have the following um, members of the abstract class. We have the power one declared as you know, public abstract class in, at, at the top of the program. And we have gen power. Of course, this is part of data one abstract class. And we uh, declared, and of course, we uh, uh, 
uh, write the codes of power 1 inside the class Arnold. Arnold now can inherit, of course, the following um, statement of data 1. So it can call general power 1. At the same time, Arnold now is the owner of, Arnold 1 is the co-owner of power 1. This is the class, okay? So we extend Arnold 1 to data 1. So what will happen here is we're going to, what you call this, create the main program. So we're going to, okay, it depends also if you are using uh, another um, compiler. You can use public, public class. Okay, but this is only for the sake of the instruction. We can use the class because this is in the main class. Okay, it depends also to your compiler or to your online IDE. So like for example, class main one. If you test this in, in another compiler, if uh, this class main one won't work, then you can use, you can add public. Okay, for now we'll use class main one. Okay, class main one, and at the same time, what will happen here? So class main one, open parenthesis, and then public, static, void main. Remember, this is the, uh, a, the blueprint of the program, the main program. Okay, and args, view met. All right, that's it. So we have two, uh, we have one abstract class at the top. This is where we declare our uh, methods. And this thing we have here the gen power inside the abstract class of data. And then we extend, of course, the class Arnold so that we can inherit the following power one and gen power one. Okay. So we have here the power one. All right. So we're going to have what you call this uh, call this program right here. And then what will happen? So let us instantiate this class. Okay. So how to instantiate that? Arnold. Let's say thing one equals to new Arnold. Okay, what will happen is, well, of course, thing one now is uh, instantiated by Arnold, and thing one is the owner, or thing one has the capacity to call power one. Okay, this is power one, and to call what the call is the gen power one. Now, how to do that? Thing one, and then we're gonna bring down this thing, power one. Okay. So power one is to what? Is to generate the power. Power is generated. And then thing one again, we're going to bring down this what? Gen power. Okay. So there you have it. So this is the code. Okay. Let us check it. So we have here the abstract class and we have the field members of power one as methods. And we have gen power one. Of course, this is the local based method of the abstract class abstract class data one and we have of course uh, the declarations of Arnold that extends its uh, what you call this behavior using the data one at the top and we generated of course and we um, created the abstract uh, methods of data one here to print the power and then we have here the main class to call the abstract class data one uh, abstract methods and of course the data one what general power one okay so when we run a program let's check it so that's it so power is generated this is the output so this is the output of the code and uh, well of course all you have to do is to review and start with uh, with small things and then right after that you can go to complicate uh, types of codes and have fun okay that's all for now thank you so much and please don't forget to subscribe in this channel